hello guys this is code and code and this is seventh lecture of string algorithm series this is part two of kmp string matching algorithm so let's get started so prerequisite for this lecture is obviously sixth lecture of string theory algorithm series because uh because i'm going uh, this is basically continuity uh, continuation of the previous lecture which was lecture six so make sure you already watched six lecture before continuing to this lecture now so this is where we left in the previous lecture so uh, to calculate pi of i pi of i we have already proven that uh, in the previous lecture we have already proven that pi of i can be at max pi of i minus one plus one right this is the this is the maximum it can be and uh, how we are going to check it we'll be checking the ith character is equals to uh, pi of i minus one -th character or not if this condition holds then pi of i would be pi of i minus one plus one and we left at, at this question what if pi of i minus one -th character is not equal to the ith character which is basically this what would happen if these two are not equal this is where we left and this is where we are going to start again so this condition you understand right to calculate pi of i first thing we are going to see uh, we are going to do is that compare the ith character with pi of i minus one -th character right so if i show you the code uh, the code i am again using from uh, cpalgorithm.com link of which i'll be providing in the description of this video so see here i'm comparing for first of all this is a for loop that uh, that is uh, responsible for calculating uh, pi value for 1 2 and minus 1 right uh, for each i from 1 2 and minus 1 so what we are doing here is that you can see i'm comparing uh, to calculate pi of i i'm comparing s of i just let me increase the font size uh, f of i with s of j s is the string uh, as is the input string so f of s of j and what is j j is pi of i minus 1 so what we are doing here is that i'm comparing ith character with uh, with uh, pi of i minus 1 character right this we already know uh, if it is not equal then what we are doing we are updating j to pi of j minus 1 again and then again comparing so at least for the first loop you know what is happening we are comparing ith character with with uh, pi of i minus 1 -th character right this we already know let's continue to answer this question now to find the answer of this let me just continue uh but let me just show the code once again so what is happening here if the ith character is not equal to the jth character and j is initialized with pi of i minus one what we are doing we are updating j again with pi of j minus one right not this time i minus one but with j minus one again and comparing again till both the character either match or j becomes zero so let me show you why we are updating the j so see when uh i'm calculating pi for this index and before that uh, pi of i minus one is four right so pi of i can be at max five so it is uh, either it would be a a b a x suffix matches the prefix or a b a x suffix matches the prefix basically the suffix of length five matches the prefix or the suffix of length four or three or two or one matches the prefix or nothing matches so out of all of these we need to find the maximum amount right now uh to get for the length 5 to check whether the length 5 is valid or not basically pi of i is 5 or not we have already compared this we have already tested this condition if that condition fails now i'm saying that j should be initialized with pi of j minus 1 right j should be initialized with pi of j minus 1 why is that so let me show you. see uh when the length 5 doesn't match either it would be uh, a b a x now we have to see whether out of all of these something matches because right uh either pi of i would be five or four or three two one zero out of all of this we have to find the maximum so now i have to check whether a b a x which is suffix matches the prefix or not b a x which is a suffix matches the prefix or not similarly for a x and then finally for x but what we can't do we can't directly go and compare them character by character this would again lead us to the problem uh, which will increase the overall running time and that is what we don't want so what i'll do uh you see uh can you find any relation between the aaba 
why I'm emphasizing on EABA because pi of i minus 1 is 4. That means the prefix or uh, basically the suffix AABA already matches with the prefix, right? You, you can see here AABA matches with the prefix AABA. So can you uh, find any relation between AABA and the rest of these substring written in black color? B, ABA, BA and A. If you try to find a relation, you would see that ABA, BA and A, all of these three substring are actually suffixes of this AABA, right? These are all suffixes of AABA. And out of all of these, I want the maximum length suffix which actually matches the prefix right if uh, so basically what i want is the longest proper suffix of aaba which is also a prefix right that i want because if if uh, i'm saying that okay pi of i is 4 that means a a i mean a b a x matches with prefix right if pi of i is 4 again pi of this is 4 that means a b a x matches with prefix if ABAX matches with prefix, that means ABA already matches with prefix, right? So that is why I want the maximum proper suffix of ABA, which is also a prefix. Now, don't you think that is the ex uh, that is the exact work of pi? Right? What we are saving it uh, in the pi array. Pi of i tells you the proper longest prefix or proper longest suffix of substring uh, 0 to i which is also a prefix right and that is exactly what we want here we want proper suffix of aaba which is also a prefix and to find the answer of this we can utilize the pi array so if you go to the position pi of j minus 1 why pi of j minus 1 because see pi of j initial sorry uh, pi of j and j again was initialized with i minus 1. So pi of, uh, pi, uh, pi of j was uh, sorry j was initialized with pi of i minus 1. So j is actually 4. Now j is 4 that means uh, the last the first four, four character actually matched the last four character right because of course pi of i minus 1 is 4. So what you can do you know that this suffix actually exists as the prefix. So if you find pi of this index, which is AABA, that will tell you exactly the, the length of the longest suffix AABA, which is also a prefix. So you see pi of this index, basically pi of 3. Why 3? Because this AABA would add at index 3. That is why we are going for pi of 3. So if you see pi of 3 tells you 1, that means for string a a b a only the first character is also the prefix so see only one character is also prefix so see it in a a b a uh, a b a would not match the prefix b a would not match the prefix only a would match the prefix that is exactly what pi of 3 is telling you and why 3 of course because j was 4 that means uh, the substring length is of 4 size right and if the length of a string is 4, that means that substring ends at index 3. That is why we are going at index 3. So basically, what we want is the longest proper suffix of ABA in this case, which is basically pi of i minus 1. Uh, uh, suffix, basically suffix of that length. So for pi of i minus 1, which is of length 4, so we are only considering a a b a x because this was the longest suffix which matched the prefix so for this if this doesn't match a a b a x doesn't match that means if pi of i is not equals to 5 it would be either 4 3 2 1 or 0 we have we uh, already know how to check for length 5 and that is using sorry this condition if the condition doesn't hold that means what we want we want the maximum uh, longest suffix of AABA which is also a prefix and answer to that exists at index in the pi array at index pi of j minus 1 right j was 4 so at pi of 3 and that is exactly why we are updating j to be pi of j minus 1 and we will compare there again so basically pi of j minus 1 is 1 so it tells that the longest 
suffix of a a b a which also uh, is a prefix is only a of length one this here it tells you so basically only a matches so this is the only candidate for us a x so we already know that a matches all we have to do is check the second character second character lies at index 2 that is why we are comparing i with again j and since j would become 1 so you are comparing character at index 1 with i which is x if this matches with x so basically a x would match with a x right and that is exactly what we are doing here so we will be updating j to be pi of j minus 1 and then again we'll run this loop we'll again check the ith character with uh, jth character if this matches we'll simply stop if this doesn't match we'll again update j and the same process happens till j becomes because uh, either 0 or the character match if the character match so basically what i'm telling you j become 1 right uh, j has become 1 so if the first i mean character at index 1 matches with x so a x would match this right in that case uh, pi of i would be 2 right 2 that means j plus 1 and that is why when we stop out of this uh, when we stop for this while loop we will check whether the ith character matches the jth character or not if they match we would simply increment j and update pi of i to be j if they do not match basically uh, pi of j is 0 if they do not match then pi of uh, sorry pi of i pi of i would be updated with j and j most certainly in that case will be 0 so this is how this whole algorithm works this is only the calculation of prefix function and same prefix function if you understand the prefix function very well then you won't be having any problem understanding uh, substring search KMP algorithm this is very 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 easy once you are able to understand prefix function so I hope uh, this made things clear with you if you have any doubt or query still remaining you can post it down in the comment section uh, if I see that there are uh, a lot of uh, queries so I maybe go for the one more lecture for uh, KMP algorithm otherwise we'll be taking on some problems related to KMP algorithm so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you